Hi everyone, it's Manu here. I'm, uh, as you can see, getting ready to go out for a run, for a jog. Um, <clears throat> just trying to stay healthy in the midst of, of staying at home and, and during the pandemic and all. So uh, before I go out though, I wanted to talk today about um, toning a canvas. So for artists, when you buy a canvas in the art supply store, it's typically white. It's a good idea to throw what we call a tone over that to kill the white. And the reason for doing so, there are many, many reasons, but the primary reason, in order to be able to judge your values better, so that you can, uh, by bringing your canvas to something that is in a stark white, you're able to compare your values with more ease. So first I'm gonna talk about the materials that you're gonna need to tone your canvas with oil. So the materials you're gonna need in order to tone a canvas with raw umber paint is a little bit of uh, raw umber, odorless mineral spirit or mineral spirits. I use a uh, Gamsol made by Gamblin, a brush, some, this is about a two inch brush, a bristle brush, uh, or from a hardware store, you can buy uh, something called a chip brush. Paper towels, uh, these are Viva paper towels, which are, these are great because they don't leave a lot of lint um, behind, or you can cut up an old t-shirt. What you're first gonna start off by doing is either on a glass or wood palette um, or on this uh, palette paper. This is made by Gray Matters. Um, what you're gonna do is squeeze out a little bit of that raw umber on there, dip the brush, I'm gonna dip the smaller two inch brush into uh, the Gamsol or the mineral spirits and kind of make it washy like watercolor. I can either using this brush, you can see that covers pretty fast, or if you like using a larger brush or you have a larger canvas than what I have, you can use a chip brush in order to cover it much faster. And you're just gonna put that washy uh, mixture and cover the entire canvas. So in an earlier YouTube video that didn't have audio, I toned a canvas, but what I found was that it ended up darker. So what I'm showing you today is how to tone the canvas a little bit lighter. I'm gonna be teaching a workshop tomorrow and I want uh, the students to tone their canvas a little bit lighter. So the next step, and by the way, the way that you control how dark or light it ends up depends on how much Gamsol you mix in there with it, how washy you make it, uh, compared to the ratio of how much oil pigment you have. So once you have your wash on there, um, what I recommend doing is I'm taking this Viva paper towel, I'm gonna fold it into a square so that what I end up with is a nice clean edge that I can use to make both vertical and then horizontal strokes to cover the canvas. So you just, you don't have to be perfect about it. Uh, some people enjoy having some of these striated marks and that's okay, but if you're a beginner and you're not sure what you like yet, then you just feel free to work the paper towel back and forth horizontally and vertically until you have it covered pretty evenly. So this is a little bit lighter than what we would say a middle value is, and that's a fine tone uh, you let this dry overnight, and then you're good to you're good to get started. By the way, what I did was I buy rolls of canvas, which is why this is cut. But this can easily easily be done on a stretched uh, canvas or on a wood panel that's been pre-primed with um, gesso or with an oil lead primer. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so, please. And um, I'm so glad I didn't get any drips or. Uh, you know, paint on me. I'm off for my run. I hope you guys have a great day. Till next time.